hello guys welcome once again to the channel thank you so much for clicking thank you for stopping by uh today is a very sunny day here in malaysia as you can see the sun is so bright and i'm waiting for my bus actually uh, because i'm going to my university i'm going to work okay so yes guys this video is going to be a very brief one uh i just want to show you guys the weather as you can see this is morning oh what's the time this is 9 57 and as you can see <laughs> The weather is very, very hot, very bright. This is Malaysia for you. Let me know uh, your thoughts about Malaysia weather as a foreigner here in Malaysia. And as Malaysians, let me know why you guys don't sweat, really. Like, you guys are used to the weather already. I wish I can have your kind of, you know, like, the tenacity not to sweat, you understand? But for us as Africans or as blacks, so I don't know, maybe other foreigners also face this. Like, when the sun is getting so, 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 so hot, begin to you know sweat and it's not like um, in nigeria like there's no sun we have hot sun in some part of nigeria but still we're able to manage it anyways let me know in the comment section below if you are new to the channel please make sure you consider subscribing i'm using one style to check my bus if you're a subscriber please make sure you uh, stay tuned and uh, thank you very much for always watching you are the reason why the channel is still here i love you guys so 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 very much anyways let's go to the discussion for today hey my friend come and explore with bolo i love you welcome back yes so today i just came here to rant basically and uh, to make some practical assertions okay uh with regards to what you can see in this beautiful country malaysia if you have been following my videos you will have seen how developed malaysia has become and uh, what they are getting into you know every blessed day in this country like they are just making progress and sometimes it makes me to begin to think you know of what our people are doing back home like sometimes when i try to compare it's not even reasonable to actually compare malaysia and nigeria <laughs> you understand but sometimes when i try to compare i begin to wonder like really some people are not really working that is just the truth you understand some people are not really working but here as you can see they are working you understand first of all they try to settle the citizens and make sure that things are okay the basic amenities the basic things that you need in a country they are not done yet you understand people still complain here and all that and sometimes i laugh at my friends when they complain you know human beings can never stop complaining you know people will still complain even if you give them the best of the best of the best people will still say it is not enough but like when i look at what they are enjoying and how far they have gone and weigh it with their complaints and then compare back to some places <laughs> you know what i'm talking about if you are watching me from those places and then you begin to imagine like ah these guys are actually you know enjoying their leaders actually have them in, at heart have them in mind and it's quite pathetic you understand so the question is that can nigeria actually become better of course yes nigeria can be better you understand we just need people that are ready to work we need people that actually have the heart of the citizens at heart <laughs> quote that well people that have the heart of the citizens or netizens at heart and that is what is working for malaysia and many other countries that are actually making it or have made it so far and are still struggling to make it more you know when you have leader that is just concerned of one sect of people then there will be big problem but when you have a leader that actually has everybody in mind you know a multinational leader a multiracial leader you know that wants to actually carry everybody along and make sure that everybody you know is being developed is making progress you know you see that things will begin to work out very 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 uh, excellently for that nation so it's really a thing of concern and uh, i just hope that one day we'll get it right you understand uh, this is me just sharing my own view because uh, coincidentally you know uh, our own election back home in nigeria actually is coming up very soon and malaysia also are actually preparing for general election if i'm not uh, mistaken so i also try to uh, compare and analyze you know those aspects from the two nations and i begin to wonder okay i think i now know uh, the bedrock of our problem 
or progress. <laughs> you understand? Yes, the bedrock, what is the bedrock, what is the foundation of the problem, okay? Or what is the foundation of the progress that you may see? Uh, looking at it, you see that in my own place, where I come from, you see that um, when it comes to primaries, especially they have the major parties, which is not a new thing. I think it's the same thing almost everywhere. Definitely there will be those major parties that have actually established themselves, you know, and um, people expect that ah, they are the ones, one of them will win and all that. It's a very critical mentality. Actually, there are major parties in other places, but if the person that they bring up to that party is not capable of doing the work, you end up saying that the people may actually vote that person out. And I saw it practical, okay, here in this country. So I will not want to go too deep into politics, but the Valencians can help us this time around to comment down below. I know that you guys know a lot and more than me. So comment down below so that we can learn together. Okay, this channel is actually educational, positive, sincere, and simple. And we want to learn together in every aspect of life. So, but in my own place, you see that um, once you don't have, uh, you know, something in your pocket, you know, to share, you understand, for the delegate and all that, unfortunately and most critically, people will not vote. Now, that's a very critical situation if you ask me. Like, if the old politics thing is dwelt on, uh, you know, the finances and money, you know, what you share to delegates. In fact, the thing is that the citizens don't even have the opportunity, you understand, to actually make the choice of the right person because those delegates will actually do the first thing first, you know, the pre whatever, the primaries and all that, and it's based on what? Money. You know, you only have a few parties that are actually sincere and genuine, but those ones are not usually given the opportunity to go beyond anything, you know? So it's a critical situation, but we are trusting God that this time around, we are going to get it right. Because people's eyes are open, and therefore those of you that have been here and you are in other nations, you can see how things are being done in the right way. And that is why they are making progress. That's why they are making progress. So it, I'm really concerned, you know, when I see how things are done here, when I see how, you know, their leaders are living life here, not as our own, you understand? Like here, people can actually just move smoothly. Of course, power is power anywhere you go, right? But still, they still interact with their people. That is the thing. The right thing has been done. And it's a critical situation we're asking ourselves. And I don't know if there are Nigerians that are watching me now what will be our fate in the 2023 election, presidential election. We need somebody that actually has the heart of the people. You know, if you are here in Malaysia, you can see clearly that Malaysia has gone far. We can't even compare. There's no need of argument or whatever. Malaysia has gone very far. You know, and Malaysia and Nigeria are supposed to be in the same place. Or even Nigeria is supposed to have even gone farther than Malaysia if we have done the right thing. But unfortunately, the reverse is the case. And one of the things that um, captured me a lot, you know, in the development of Malaysia and all that, is how they focus on the youths, you understand? They focus on the youth, they focus on, you know, small-scale businesses, you know, they focus on manufacturing. I was very surprised when I checked, you know, what actually gives Malaysia a lot of revenue. Initially, I was thinking that it was maybe palm oil or something because they have a lot of palm oil here. Yeah, everywhere you travel around, you see palm trees and all that. But yeah. I got to know that it's actually manufacturing. Malaysia, is it true? Let me know in the comment section below. Is manufacturing actually your highest, um, how do I put it, source of GDP or something in Malaysia? I want to confirm that information. But yeah, that was the information I got. That it is actually what? Manufacturing. And I was really, really flabbergasted, guys. And so you can imagine that they actually give people the opportunity to do their business. You know, there are a lot of small-scale businesses here in Malaysia. And I see that these small-scale businesses gradually, you know, help people to come out from poverty, from their eating corners, and do something. As small as it is, Malaysians are ready to work. You understand? You see a lot of restaurants here. That's why the food business is something that is not established here. And they have what they call, you know, food hospitality here in Malaysia. Like, they have a lot of people that are selling food and all those kind of things. And it's quite interesting. Not only that, you see, even around my house area, I can see a small company there dealing with tithes and all that. Very neat. And they have standards that they follow. And that is why things are working for them. Another thing I notice here is that they follow principles and their laws are really, really critical. You know, they have laws that are working. Unfortunately, in some places, the laws are not working. And that is a big problem, you know, to the downfall of such places. And uh, it is not too late, you know, to actually get it right. 
Number three thing I noticed is that the people themselves, the citizens, are ready to listen. And why would they not listen when things are working well for them? <laughs> why would they not listen when they know that their leaders are actually what, listening to them? But when leaders don't listen to people, when people come out to you know say we don't want this, we don't want this, and the next thing you see is what they you know go there and disperse people and all that here do their protest peacefully. You know the police even assist them in the protest. And that is why things are working. We need leaders that can actually listen to us. Today I'm comparing Malaysia and Nigeria, and I hope that by the grace of God, we can do the right thing. Let's stop voting for party, guys. Let's vote for people that are ready to do the work. People that have the capability and not just capacity. When I talk of capacity, unfortunately, we talk of financial capacity. Many people look at the financial capacity. You know, when they come to delegate, they share a lot of money, you know, thousands of dollars, wasting the money. Of course, what do you expect? Most of this money is stolen money. And that is why they can easily what? share it out like that in money that's supposed to be used for the development of the nation you know they share it out to delegate just what by votes this is the critical situation of our nation back home and i weep critically you know when i see how other people are doing things and things are working well for them i pray in my heart that we can get it right this time malaysia you people are very beautiful you are a great lesson to many nations and i just hope that those who are watching me from the place where I'm actually focusing on, I hope we take a leaf from this nation. When you travel out, you travel to learn. You travel to learn, you understand? You don't just travel only for, uh, what you call recreation and all those kind of things, enjoyment. You travel to learn so that you can take some of the things you see in those places, the good things, and apply it to wherever you are. This is my desire and I hope things will really be better for us. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comment section uh, with what I've said so far. What do you think about my country? What do you think about Malaysia? I would love people to do comparisons here. Yeah, I know I have a lot of people that you know, love to you know, compare uh, critically in the right way. So please, let's compare and contrast and let's provide solutions that we can. And if you are my country person, also drop your thoughts down in the comment section below. Uh, by the way, I'm planning to go to uh, Kuala Selangor, yes, this weekend, hopefully, if I finish early, Kuala Selangor. Uh, where do you guys want me to visit there? Some of you have recommended this place to me a long time, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go there. And yes, I made up my mind to go there and go and enjoy myself, at least for the weekend. So, let me know where you want me to go in Kuala Selangor, and uh, I will read your comment down below in this video, and make some few videos in Kuala Selangor for you guys, before I think of going to Ipoh. Till I see you in the next one, stay positive, stay safe. Don't let anybody steal your joy. I hope my country will be better. And I hope Malaysia will also be what? Better and better and better as they keep on making progress and doing the right thing. Much love and God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.